all right love so welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be making some curry chick peas all right now first I've been asking me to make a vegan meal and this is something that I've done a couple times before and it's really good so today I'm going to show you how I make mine all right so here we have some ginger some grated ginger right there we have some garlic right here we have one whole sweet pepper I think this is about four cloves of garlic we have one whole green sweet pepper here we have one large tomato here we have two medium-sized onions and we have some dried thyme there and of course we have our curry powder all right so we are gonna go ahead and get started we already have our pot on the stove with oil in it and it's heated because you can feel the steam coming from it so what I'm gonna do just as if I was currying chicken or meat or anything I'm going to burn the curry first and then we're gonna get into the dish all right so let's go all right love so to the hot oil I'm gonna go ahead and add our curry powder Too much but just enough to ensure that we have curry now this is Indian curry and I love using Indian curry like I remember I told you in our um, curry chicken video because Indian curry already comes seasoned so that's one of the reasons I love it so that is what I use I don't remember the brand but it's Indian curry All right. So we're just going to leave it there for about a minute, a minute and a half to burn and this is what helps us to make our curry really good guys and it's get it that thick. Now my stove is on medium high, now if you want you can turn it down on low, especially if the power of your stove is extremely high. So I'm turning mine on low because as you can see it's starting to steam and it's starting to burn already, starting to get a darker shade. So that is what we are looking for. All right, love, so the curry has been burning. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and pour in our seasoning. Cause as you know, chickpeas don't take long to cook. So we're pouring in everything. All of our seasonings, the ginger, the garlic, the sweet pepper, the tomatoes, the onions, everything we're putting in the pan. Oh my gosh, you can smell in here guys when that seasoning hit the oil and the curry. Oh my gosh. So remember I said I have my stove on low. So we're just going to leave that. Not for too long because we're going to go ahead and put in our chickpeas in a second. But we're just going to leave that for a little bit. So that all of the seasonings can start coming together. All the taste and all the flavor from different seasonings can start coming together. Alright love, so I've gone ahead and drained the chickpeas and I'm going to go ahead and add it to our seasoning and we're going to mix that together. Alright, so once you've mixed that together, I'm going to go ahead and add some water to it. If you have a vegetable stock, you can use that, but I don't. So we're going to go ahead and just add some water to it and then cover that and allow it to cook. Now before I do that, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, just a little, and a little black pepper, not too much. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this thyme in there but I don't want the entire sticks of thyme so I'm just gonna keep peeling them off so I'm just removing the leaves from the thyme because I don't want the big stalks in the what we're doing now I know some persons might not like uh, I know a lot of my friends will be like Trina I always have put some something but like it is not bad guys trust me especially if you want to start a vegan meal and you don't want to be too adventurous it's really simple and it's curry guys Jamaican people will love curry so it's really simple and you can put it together really quickly and that will be a meal so let's mix all of that together and then I'm going to add some water to this so let's go get the water so I'm adding a cup of water to this and I'm turning my fire back to medium high and I'm going to just pour a cup of water in here because we know that when we eat curry we want some gravy and I too many just want the sauce of curry right so we've done that and all we're gonna do is just let this sit and cook for about 10 minutes and after 10 minutes guys it's done all right you and reason you're cooking it because you want to ensure that the curry also gets cooked because if you don't want to eat raw curry trust me it will run your belly <laughs> so we're gonna leave it and allow it to cook for about 10-15 minutes because we want to ensure that the curry is cooked and of course all of those flavors blend in with the chickpeas and then we're gonna have dinner all right so let's let that go All right, love, so our curry chickpeas are about done. They have been cooking for about 10 to 12 minutes now. So giving them another two minutes and then we're gonna take them off and we're gonna plate them. We're having them with some quinoa. So this is a vegan meal, really easy, really simple. Tastes awesome, guys. All right, so about two more minutes and then we're gonna take it off. I love so we are gonna turn it off now so it's been cooking for a total of about 15 to 20 minutes from the curry cooking to the seasoning and look at that and just look at the look how thick it is guys oh my gosh it's gonna be so good so we're gonna go ahead and plate this all right all right love so here we go all plated or curry chickpeas and quinoa look at it it's so good all right so i want to thank everybody for watching now remember to hit that like um, comment and ensure that you share this video and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscription button what are you waiting for all right and of course once you've done that hit the notification bell as well all right loves thanks so much for tuning in 
and I'll see you in the next video.